right, guys, I'm just going to do like a Cliff Notes version of the pager, but, you know, I always introduce the caller in motion, and I like to introduce it in this frame of mind. And I'm going to tell you why, because this is what they're choosing to do. If we can introduce ourselves into that state, that's what we've got to ask yourself. How can I become a part of that rather than try to completely change that? because if you watch this, if boxers bark at you, they don't like you. So if you got a boxer barking at you, that's not good. You know, that's what you've got to say to yourself. So if their natural ebb and flow is kind of movement going around and all that, I, honestly, guys, I believe that's what it is. We're just kind of sidle in there. The next thing, we're a part of that. I think you could, I think you could use the pager to teach them to follow another dog, you know, or do it for sheep or anything. If you made them, you know, you could get them to model. The summer's like, where's this coming? We're not doing that now, are we? No, what are we All doing? Right, just so let me show you real quick. So summer's going to come up here. I'm just going to do the little drawing thing. What do you want to think of? I mean, you know, if this is the person and this is the dog. You know, so if the dog's always moving away, 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 you know, you're not going to just stop that right there. You're not going to be able to take that dog and just turn it and have it facing you. It's going to be a process. So what you're going to think of is you're going to, you know, you're going to enter the collar and you're going to put it out there. So this is where your collar's happening here. It's going over here. It's happening here. You know, you're always at the center, but then we could then draw a line around and say, well, we have we have created a boundary. You know, and what this boundary is, is it's, you know, is it distance? Is this 15 feet? And it's going to vary. You know, here it may be 50 yards. You know, but I'm a part, and I may be moving. If I'm, if, you know, if I'm the handler and I'm moving, over here, this whole bubble thing is kind of moving with me. So I'm always doing my pager there. I'm always driving the dog back to me in the beginning. Always driving it back. So anything that's happening, so I've created this boundary. I can work within this. I can work within this boundary, but I've got to create the boundary first. If I don't, and, and that's how I'm creating it. I'm, I'm brushing the edge of it right there, right there, brushing the edge of it, brushing the edge of it, and driving the dog back towards me, driving the dog back towards me. You know, I mean, the only other, you know, if you had a dog that was already looking at you, don't need this video. Okay, so that's where we're at. And that's how we're creating the boundary. By just brushing off of it here, brushing off of it, brushing off of it. And so that they understand that, that, you know, the boundary is somehow created around you. You go 10 feet this way, then maybe the boundary's moved in 10 feet this way. Hi, right, guys. I hope that makes sense. Bye, guys.